how to find peace from Jesus. Peace comes from choosing to believe in God's truth, like Jesus is here, Jesus can help. Fear comes from choosing to believe in Satan's lies, that Jesus is not here and Jesus doesn't want to help. We can experience perfect spiritual peace choosing to trust in Jesus to be with us and to help us. We need to be filled with the Holy Spirit's fruit of spiritual peace in our lives. A demon of fear tries to get us to believe in their lies, to try to create fear emotions in us if we allow them to. Like Jesus said, his truth shall set you free. We need to choose to resist believing in a fear demon's lies in our minds and choose to believe in Jesus' truth in our minds instead. To be able to have a mindful of Jesus' truth and peace. A good meditation is, Jesus can make me peaceful now. Jesus said, do not worry about anything. Jesus said, I am always here. Paul said, I can do everything successfully with Jesus' help too. Paul said, pray to Jesus and the spiritual peace that can fulfill you will fulfill you. It surpasses all our understanding. Trying to trust in ourselves or money or other people will never help us to experience the fulfilling peace that we're looking for. But by trusting in Jesus, we can experience this perfect peace. Trusting in Jesus with you who can provide for you and protect for you and help you to have this peace. We can find fulfilling spiritual peace from trusting in Jesus if we want to choose to. If we are fearful, we are choosing to believe in Satan's lies and experience fear choosing to believe in them. Only we can choose to stop doing this if we want to. If we want to choose to believe in Jesus' truth and trust in Him to help us, then we can experience peace from Him. Jesus said, My peace I want to give to you. Jesus said, Don't be fearful. Jesus said, to a storm, peace, be still. We need Jesus to say to fear in our minds, have peace, be still. We need to hear Jesus' voice saying to us prophetically, have peace, trusting in me. We need to choose to believe in certain truths in order to find peace from Jesus, like Jesus is love. Jesus controls everything. Jesus is a very present help in our times of trouble. Jesus owns everything. Richard the trillionaire. Jesus can work out all our sufferings for our good. Fiery furnaces, lion's dens, Jezebel's patience. Jesus can turn my enemies into dust anytime he wants to. Jesus can help me through death and take me to his heavenly paradise after I die and live forever there with him. Jesus can forgive 
and forget about all of my sins and make me as righteous as he is as a gift if I want to do. Jesus' cross and blood can help me to experience peace with God. We experience peace of mind when we choose to be Jesus' friend and obey him. When we hear his voice say to us, well done, keep up the good work. Keep allowing me to do good works for you today. When we allow Jesus to live through us and do his will out through us with his power to do it, we can experience peace. And you choose to act loving, you'll experience peace. When we believe that there's nothing too difficult for Jesus to do through us, we can feel peace. Like Jesus said, come to me and find peace and rest. Seek to say to your spirit of fear enemy, stop fear. I don't want to believe in your lies and fear. I want to read the Jesus' truth and that perfect peace of mind from Jesus instead. Experiencing fear in our life is always just our own fault. If we choose to believe Jesus' truth instead of Satan's lies in our mind, we can experience Jesus' peace instead of fear. Like we control our peace and fear by what we want to choose to believe is true or lies. It is like we can be filled with a fear demon through choosing to believe in its lies. Like, Jesus isn't real. Jesus doesn't love you. Jesus doesn't want to forgive you. Jesus doesn't want to help you, etc, etc, etc. If you choose to believe these lies, it'll fill you with fear and create a fear stronghold. But if we choose to believe in Jesus' truths, like He's real, He loves us, He wants to forgive us, He wants to help us, etc, etc. Then we can have a mind filled with Jesus' Spirit, the Holy Spirit, which creates His peace in our minds instead of spiritual peace. Jesus has done everything to give us peace if we want to believe that He did. If we don't want to believe in it, we're not going to have any peace. Except us. Is Jesus real? Is He here? Does he love us? Does he want to help us? We can have peace. We start believing demon lies. There is no Jesus. He can't help us. You gotta trust in yourself. You're not gonna have much peace. And so that like casting a spirit of fear out of us and inviting the Holy Spirit of peace in us to fill us instead. One spirit comes in, the other one leaves. If we choose to allow fear into us by believing in its lies, the Holy Spirit stops filling us with peace. And if we seek to be filled with the Holy Spirit through choosing to believe in Jesus' truth, then the spirit of fear stops filling us and leaves us. We defeat the demon enemies in our lives by choosing to believe in God's truth instead of in their lies. There's only two choices. Either Jesus is real or he's not. Either he loves you or he doesn't love you. Either he can help you or he won't help you. we got fear in our life. we got to look at what we're believing in. And change it. Repent of it. No, i got to believe God's truth. He's here. He loves me. He can help me. Peace. This is how Jesus taught us to win our spiritual war with the demons during his temptation here on earth. Jesus said, I choose to believe in God's truth, and I choose to resist believing in your lies, Satan. That's the way we got to do it.
peace in our minds is a sign to us that we are winning our spiritual war against Satan. And fear in our minds is a sign to us that we are losing our spiritual war with Satan. And need to repent of believing such lies. Which create fearful, not peaceful emotions in us. So that's a bit about how to find peace from Jesus.